Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to talk about the best budget knife of 2022. So, here's the thing. I need to start doing and wrapping up the best of stuff for the year, and I honestly haven't thought too hard about it. It's now December 11th. And, you know, you always feel like you have all year or whatever. And as things come in and you handle them, you get excited and et cetera. Um, I don't have many budget knives. <laughs> so I've handled a good amount this year for sure. But do I own that many? No. Um, This one right here is one of the only ones that I own that came out this year, right? Like I have a Kubi KU321. Um, I have, I think a Kvist and some Ashers, but those all came out previously, right? Um, uh, a couple of knives like the new Asher Spiro, uh, this dropped recently, but this was 125 bucks. So that's above my, um, hundred dollar budget knife category. That's how it works for me. Anyway, I do have two of the NAFSCO landers, and I'll be honest, I really like this knife. I think it's a fantastic budget knife, but, you know, D2, um, it, you know, it's not quite what I would consider a best of knife, if that makes sense. You know, maybe once I slap the fat carbon on it that I'm hoping to get eventually, but then it's not a sub hundred dollar knife anyway right i do have two of these actually but it's because i'm waiting for scales i honestly haven't touched these since i did the review but that's just kind of how it goes um i do really like them so i don't want to um make it sound like i don't i think it would definitely be in the running so it could be here you know um definitely be in the contention so to speak but again i, I just don't have a ton so another one that I have, but it's up there and it's in the giveaway pile now is the new CJRB Pyrite. The White Mountain Knives exclusive one in the Blue G Mascus. Man, that knife is fire. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You got the uh, button lock, you got the thumb studs, the perfect ergos. It's really, really good for $60. Um, but I've already, you know, put it up there to be given away, you know. Um so those are some, I guess, honorable mentions. Um, trying to think through other stuff. There's other stuff like from Kaiser I've handled. You know, uh, the original. I don't know if that came out this year. Good button lock. Civivi came out with the Altus and the um, the Conspirator. Were those this year? Man, it's, I don't know. Um, but either way, they wouldn't win, right? So if I'm looking at what I have and... Obviously, what I have is also based on what I've kept. The Tempest Knives Pinion here is the best budget knife this year. I mean, it's under $100. I mean, it was 85 bucks. I think I paid for this on pre-order. Maybe it was even less because I got a three-pack. You can get it in G10, I think, now for 80 or 85 um, you can slap a lynch clip on it, which I guess that puts it right around a hundred with the lynch clip, but that's an accessory. Um, I, I don't think scales, you know, I think it's a little bit different, but whatever. doesn't matter. Um, the black micarta is fantastic. Kubi just, man, Kubi is just knocking it out of the park right now. The pivot is crushing it. Look at that. Just looks like the rim of a car. It's flush screws are flush other than these clip screws um nice stonewash blade razor sharp out of the box um just you know absolutely fantastic here um uh, then you know you, you you got the ergos absolutely wonderful in this choked up grip i mean the only real negative i could give it on the ergos category is really that it's such a straight knife and then it's such a big knife for me. You know, it's an 8-inch knife. I just don't need all that, right? But it works. It's not like it doesn't work. So it's fine. But if it was cut off right here, I think it would fit in the hand. An example of that would be the Tempest Knives Micro Burst, which will be coming out next year, where you see when I choke up, boom, it just melts right here. I don't have that extra piece kind of hitting me in the palm. Um, this knife 
might be budget night of the year 2023 because damn um so casey's a good friend and and you know it makes it hard but i won't put my own knives right like i won't put devo knives into any of these best of videos i just that's not my style right I, i'm not rolling like that but a good friend, I can separate myself, if that makes sense. I can do that. Um, did I keep this knife around because Casey's a good friend and I feel like I uh, need to, you know, hang on to one of his knives? I don't know. It's possible. Um, but I also really like this knife. Um, it has a lot of the things that I look for in knives, right? It has a nice slot slash hole slash fuller for deployment for a nice crisp reverse flick it has a wonderful detent absolutely splendid detent especially on this example which was great to begin with and then i think i tuned it just slightly to add a little more it takes skiff bearings and look at the action on that i mean it is absolute butter just i mean this is an eighty-five dollar knife. I, I can't get over it. Um, it's wonderful, guys. It really is. Um, and the ergos just work really well. Like, and it's fourteen C twenty eight N, right? So that it's got great steel. I mean, that's all the steel I need. I've talked about this previously. If you took all my knives, and you slapped 14C on them, AR RPM 9, S35, S30, something like that on them, I wouldn't give two shits, right? Maybe, you know, I would care a little bit price-wise on things and how that works, but I'm just saying, like, if you just took the steel, swapped it all out, and you could tell me, it's not like, I hate when people say, you just did it overnight, like, whatever, but, like, if I knew, it doesn't matter. It's a fantastic steal for what I do, which is open fucking Amazon boxes. Occasionally cut them down. Open bags of chips. Open other packages. Like, yes, occasionally I pop zip ties and I do other stuff, but, like, it, 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 people, I don't know, whatever. I don't need to get into the, the user thing, but, like, 14C is fantastic. Uh, this knife is is fantastic guys um and i think tempest knives has a bright future i think casey has an eye for um design i really do i think if you look at the microburst that's coming out and you look at the uh, pinion i think you can just kind of see there's things here that you don't see on other knives it's a visual thing i know that this is a tempest knife and I'm not sitting here going, ooh, that kind of looks like a schmugger schmugger. This looks like a schmee schmug schmug. Like, no. That's a fucking Tempest knife. Casey designed it. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Here's an example of what I mean. This microburst on the milling. When I first saw it, when he showed me his drawings or whatever it was that it had it, I said, no, dude, that's, no. Nah. Like, that's not cool. I don't like that. That looks dumb. And he's like, yeah, but I like it. <laughs> and I think it goes with the theme. Microbursts, kind of rain-related, you know, so it's it's got the rain in it, and that's what it looks like, right? And I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, so he did it anyway, which, of course he did. It's his thing. Gets him in, and he still has people saying, eh, you know, I, I don't like that, whatever, right? But he's like, I like it. <laughs> um, and at this point, he's taken, like, polls, you know, like, informal polls and you know the opinion is kind of like no it's don't do the, the the milling pattern so then when he was sending me these i said dude send me one with the milling if you can like whatever send me one with the milling if you can he also sent me one without which god bless him for sending me too really appreciate that and this is fantastic there it's just as good of a knife i mean dude i want i, I want this knife it's in hand like Yes, I want it. Um, it's fantastic. But honestly, this is the version I want right here with the milling pattern on it. So he saw this. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm getting at. He, he has that eye. And 
sometimes you gotta let it you gotta let it fly guys sometimes you gotta let it fly just notice these look like plastic cage bearings that's interesting let me just uh peek in here nope never mind just a shadow or something sometimes you gotta let it fly guys and um some people just have that ability to where when they do it, it hits and i think casey um has it and i think I'm going into rambles here, but I think a lot of it has to do with how Tempest Knives started in the Mach 51 and how, you know, by all accounts, it was a failure, right? He he put it on Kickstarter and he didn't fund it. Um, so I think he took the criticism from that, but he kept his flair and he moved forward, right? He got up off the ground and I've, if you watch my videos about the pinion, I've, I've raved about that and that's a, that's a great, it's a great character trait of his in my opinion um but i just think he's taken the 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 good and he's just applied more good to it and i think that's impressive to me and anyway long story short the pinion from tempest nine i just noticed it looks off center doesn't it doesn't it look off center it wasn't i'll tell you that much i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to do something about that. I mean, it's rock solid, so I don't know what would have shifted there. Maybe I never noticed it. I don't know. Anyway, um, the Tempest Knives Pinion is the budget knife of the year for 2022. For me, personally. Um, I would love to hear down in the comments what your budget knife of the year is. Um, but taking an $80, $85 knife and having this much character in it and, and this much quality in it, it's impressive to me, right? Um, plus it's really user-friendly for me. Um, uh, it also doesn't look too menacing, you know, to people. Um, so it kind of works in a lot of aspects, but the action's incredible, uh, one nice thing being a lefty is it's an inset liner lock, so easy peasy reverse flick. I don't really thumb flick it left-handed, but I can. I can also CRK it if I want. Um, you know, and then right-handed, same thing, easy thumb flick, money reverse, I mean, that reverse flick, guys. And let's say you don't like a stronger detent, hey, just climb down here at the bottom of the hole. Or the fuller and fire it. If you like a stronger one, go up top, you know. Um, the, I tend to always go to the top of the hole and fire like this. See, yeah, I missed it because it's so strong. Uh, but if I go down to the bottom here, I can just use my choop, use my ring finger. So, a wonderful knife, a wonderful person. And, uh, hey, that's uh, my selection for Budget Knife of the Year. So, I probably will do the category thing again, but I literally just didn't have many to put in this category. Uh, I'm not a big Budget Knife collector. Oops. Um, I check out Budget Knives. I review Budget Knives. I have no problem doing that. I'm not better than that or whatever people say sometimes. Um I just don't personally collect them and have a bunch of them, if that makes sense. They tend to move on quickly, get given away, mostly. Um, but this one's still here. So there you go. Um, so stay tuned for other Knife of the Year videos. It's going to be a, a, a bit of a battle, I think, in the mid-range. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to win the, the, the top-tier range. Um, but... That mid range, ooh, that mid range is going to be interesting. Where you're talking about the factor, uh, the mini tempest, uh, the dawn, uh, is it dawn this year? I guess so. Um, it yeah, it landed this year. Um, yeah, the chilling kind of snuck in this year at the end here. Um, and you know you got the tonic from Best Tech. So you, you know there's a there's a lot of stuff in there that's interesting. Oh, and um, yeah, one that showed up recently that might actually sneak in and and take the cake, you know. Um, but we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. I think I might separate slip joints. Um, I don't know, though. I got to figure that out because I think a slip joint would win, <laughs> to be honest. 
Um, I think the Jack Wolf Midnight would just crush everything in the field. Uh, I absolutely adore that knife. So I got to figure all this out now that I'm getting down to the wire. I'm going to try to squeeze it in before the end of the year, but we'll see what happens. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, go check out Casey at Knives Fast if you haven't. Uh, he's got a great channel, great content, great dude. And you can check out Tempest Knives while you're at it. Um, I don't know if it's Tempest Knives dot us or something i feel like it's something odd like that but it's linked down below um so you can definitely check it out there and uh keep an eye out for the upcoming micro burst which i'm really excited about um i love you guys truly and i uh, hope you have an absolutely wonderful day i hope you're having a wonderful holiday this should be coming out right around christmas and i hope you're spending time with family and just you know um enjoying it so love you guys have a good one Peace.